Let me uh, begin by saying that this is an international randomized uh, clinical trial, which was placebo controlled uh, uh, maintenance by Metrixid uh, plus best supportive care versus placebo plus best supportive care in patients with advanced non small cell lung cancer who had not progressed after initial four cycles of chemotherapy. The learning objectives of the trial were to assess the role of single-agent pemetrixid as maintenance therapy immediately following first-line therapy for patients with advanced and metastatic non-small cell lung cancer. And we wanted to define the optimal duration of treatment and determine the safety profile of pemetrixid in this maintenance prolonged consolidation uh, setting after initial therapy, which is the standard of care. So I'll show you the rationale and schema, the progression-free survival and overall survival, the overall survival by histology, treatment-related toxicity, and conclusions. This is the rationale and schema. We do know, as Bruce pointed out, that the optimal duration of treatment with first-line platinum doublet chemotherapy is four to six cycles. And usually after that, uh, further chemotherapy is not administered. The treatment guidelines recommend waiting until disease progression to administer second or third-line intervention. The recent studies of maintenance therapy, which include those with consolidation, sequential, or switching to a new agent, have not really shown improvement in overall uh, survival. So we started this trial where we looked at pemetrixid as a single agent administered at 500 milligrams per meter square as an IV 10-minute infusion plus um, best supportive care and compared it to an IV placebo, which was also administered every three weeks. And both arms actually received the folate and B12 administration so as to have no bias. And you see the randomization factors on the trial, and four cycles of platinum-based chemotherapy were administered initially, and those patients who had CRPR or progressive disease then went on to be randomized to pemetrixid versus placebo. 663 patients were entered onto the trial, and these are the progression-free and overall survival curves. As you heard in the previous presentation, there was a significant improvement in progression-free survival, which was presented at the last year's meeting. You see a hazard ratio, which is uh, 0.60, and the p-value is uh, significant with, four, with five zeros. And the difference was two months, four months versus two months, and this was an uh, independent, in, independent review of progression-free survival. And this time we present the overall survival of this population, and you see that there is a significant benefit in overall survival of intent to treat patients uh, with maintenance pemetrixid versus placebo. And you see the hazard ratio of 0.79 with a p-value of 0.012. And the difference is 13.4 months with pemetrixid and 10.6 months with placebo. Now, when we look at overall survival by histology, the magnitude of benefit in patients with non-squamous cell carcinoma is significant, where pemetrixid is actually approved both in the first-line and second-line setting. In the first-line setting, it is approved in combination with cisplatin, and the second-line setting as a single agent. And you see that the hazard ratio of survival is 0.70 with a p-value of 0.002. Pemetrixid resulted in a median survival of 15.5 months in the uh, pemetrixid arm, and placebo arm showed a median survival of 10.3 months, which is a 5.2-month difference. And you see that the benefit is limited to non-squamous cell carcinoma patients, and the squamous cell carcinoma patients, of which 182 were included in the trial, there was no benefit. And this was a pre-specified analysis in the statistical analysis plan. These are the overall treatment-related toxicity. When we give prolonged treatment, we also want to see whether there is uh, actually cumulative toxicity. We did not see any significant cumulative toxicities. Only 5% of the patients had dose reductions of pemetrixid, and there were no uh, treatment-related mortalities. So in conclusion, uh, there is... This is the first randomized clinical trial, which is placebo control, and shows the benefit of pemetrixid in the maintenance setting after initial therapy. Uh, and there is also a benefit primarily seen in non squamous cell carcinoma histology, which is predictive of the improved efficacy of pemetrixid in uh, this setting. And administration of pemetrixid in the maintenance setting is fairly well tolerated and is devoid of any cumulative toxicity. Thank you for your attention.